right we're back on the bed and i decided i needed to get it finished so um yeah now i did go and purchase with it being a new bed and i wasn't bothered about having all fabrics on it and i did go and purchase this but do you know what it just doesn't look right <laughs> i got it and i thought oh that's quite french looking didn't know there was a camel on it either but no um, I think it's more nursery now, it's sort of saying to me, as you can see. Really pretty fabric, so pretty. But it had a camel on it, and when she showed the picture, it was just like that bit. <laughs> so, but anyway, the camel didn't deter me. I just think it's a little bit on the um, nursery side. So, yeah. So I've come up with a plan, which is just to go plain white. And I have this fabric, which is very fine. Uh it isn't old, so yeah. So I put a knot in the middle. I just made a little twist and pushed it back in a bit. And then what I'm going to do is get that in the middle, obviously. And I'm just going to make little even gathers all the way around and glue it into place. And then I'm not sure what I'm going after there, but one bit at a time. And then put something over this raw edge, obviously. So we'll get on with that anyway. All right, you're getting to see the chaos that is my desk. Sorry about the mess, but that's the kind of mess I'm always in. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So anyway, uh, fabric glue, I think, is probably going to be the way forward for this. So I'll get some on and uh, and then we'll get this fixed on. Okay, so I've put, sorry, I've put glue all along the top, as you can see. Um, never done anything like this before, so I'm not even sure what I'm doing myself, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I maybe should have left one edge plain. It's going to go on the fabric, isn't it? But I'll just have a guess for now. I have to stand up and see if that's in the middle. It's not far off. Right. Not great big bits of fabric all over the place i may have to rethink this all right let's see i'm gonna have to gather it right so what i'm doing now is i've gathered the two sides and the other had gone off tacky enough just to actually place little pleats in so i'm just going over the top with some more fabric glue just to keep all these little tucks and creases in place and just tightening it up a little bit without trying to undo what's already stuck. Because obviously I'll be trimming this off once it's uh, all dry. I couldn't have showed you how I did it because I had to lean it against my tummy. And I pulled the other side. There. Just hold it like this for a bit. I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, I've just, what I did is I pinned it in place just while I went downstairs, had a cuppa to let it go off. I'm actually going to trim it off. I'm trying to show you, it's very awkward, sorry. I'm just going to trim it off like that, right next to the wood. And hopefully this is all stuck, it seems to be. Some, some little bits here look I'm just going to need a little bit of right. 
Right, so I've just got myself some card. Um, I'm going to glue the card using um, Yoohoo type glue for this. Hopefully it won't react with the other. Just slightly over there. Let's move it back a bit. There. Right, so I'll get them done and get back to you. Okay, so as you can see, that's um, it with some card on top, and that looks a lot neater. You could leave it like that, I'm sure. I think I'm going to put some more tissue on here and maybe along here. Haven't decided yet on that, but. Mm. Don't know. I'm saying that now and I'm thinking about it. Is that going to be really difficult to do? But probably is. But <laughs> you know me. I don't like to make life easy for myself. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do it. Right, I've made a bit of a boo-boo. I seem to be very good at making them these days. With the paint colour, I've mixed up so much of that. <laughs> it's completely wrong. I've had to tip a bit out onto here. Um... Yeah, and then add more and more white because otherwise I'm going to have no white left. So anyway, I'm going to paint it this colour for now and then I'll see what it looks like. It's too yellowy really, but I'm not going to keep wasting it. So we'll see. Yep. Okay, right. Here we are so far. I have decided to cover that with some more of the tissue, a tiny little bit of the titanium gold on, on the legs. This is all painted. I know it looks like the natural wood, but I assure you it is a cream paint. <laughs> like I say, you couldn't make it up. It just looks like the natural wood. So what to do next? This is just a bit of tissue over the sponge at the moment. Um, I think I'm going to put a try and do a little bit of detail on some pen on there and there and the same at the back and then um phew, then i think we're down to getting some side curtains done and i haven't decided whether it's going to have a drape down the back or not we'll see okay so what i've done is i've just drawn that on there i've now just traced over it and i'm going to reverse it and put it on that side and I shall keep doing that around the legs. So I don't know whether this will work. I'm, I mean, I can't see why it wouldn't work. It works on paper. Why shouldn't it work on wood? Uh, let's see about that height. It's just a bit fiddly, that's all. I'm trying to keep the paper straight. And film it for you. <laughs> I mean, it's just a guide I can draw it in I just thought it would be a bit quicker than doing it all freehand oh yeah there you go so now I can just go over that that's near enough I think slightly different but hey it's kind of done right i shall carry on with that and get back to you i've done those now they've all a bit like chinese whispers <laughs> changed with each bit but you know that's even not doing it freehand it now looks like freehand so hey ho so i'm going to do it with i've got these uh for them this is for my cry cut or cricket whatever you want to call it so i'm going to do it in blue i think um yeah I'll do one with you because it's very awkward. My hand's going to be in the way as well. Let me see if I can change the angle of the camera. It's gone off a bit there.
It's all right. It's not brilliant, but trying to do it over an iPad. <laughs> and obviously it's always going to bleed a little bit because it's going on towards. So I'll get the others done and get back to you. Right, there you are. It's just a little bit of detail, like I say. Like the Chinese whispers, they've all changed and morphed a little bit as I've gone along. I just thought I'd give you a quick um, corner shot, because you can see how the, the design joins together. It looks all right, doesn't it? Right, so I'm using the same fabric for drapes. So I'm going to, I've been thinking about it. I think the best way to do it is stick it on the inside. So I need to measure up to there down to the foot which is looking like 17 and a half so I'm going to go by centimeters on this one I use both um, because it's the nearest one so I've just marked it there and then I'm going to cut that across and I'm uh, I've managed to get something on it oh well it'll be fine <laughs> I'm going to use this all the way across so I'm good. Uh, hopefully this fabric will be enough for all of it. So I'll cut that all the way across and um, we'll carry on. Hey, right. Well, I've got a really crazy idea to show you. And it isn't my idea, I've got to say. Um, I was just thinking, surely you can stick napkins to, to fabric. And sure enough, it's out there you can. And so you're meant to use um, your fabric. Then cling film and then put your tissue on top which is what I've done so I've now got this which is onto a piece of fabric I mean I'm sure it would it wouldn't wash obviously but for these kind of projects it doesn't really matter so that is going to be the bed throw when I've done it so then I was thinking and cling film is like a food wrap so then I was thinking well not that I can't be bothered to get my sewing machine out but I was after some hemming um you know, the stuff that you hem your clothes with and you iron it on. And I hadn't got any. So I thought, well, what if I used a string of cling film? And that's what I've done. Um, more to the point, this is going to get glued on there. So I'm putting it on the inside so it'll be like that. Unfortunately, it does cover the nice design on my legs. But, you know, I probably will say in that. I'll probably tie them back like that. So, But I think that's enough. And then the same that side. Right, I've just put some fabric glue along there. I've push this on I'm just using the tip of my knife to make sure it's on there properly I put plenty on okay so I promised I'd show you so this is just a bit of cling film or kitchen wrap that you wrap your food in I've just cut a thin strip and then let it do its thing side to go together that's the bit I want to glue down so I'm just going to put that, obviously that's a neatened edge, like that, making sure that's as far in as it'll go. I'm going to cut that excess off. It will shrink a little bit, so I'll allow a little bit. Grease proof paper, or I think in America you might call it wax paper, I'm not 100% sure. Iron. On a reasonably hot setting. And there you have it. And it really is quite invisible. So, a tiny little bit hanging off there. Oh no, it's the thread. So, how good is that? I'm absolutely chuffed to fluffy ribbons. <laughs> And all I'm doing for my pleats is just ironing them in like that. And 
and then do another one. Come on. Sorry, I keep knocking it. I'm not used to having obviously uh, an iPad on my ironing board. I just carry on like that until I've got as many as I want. So I've glued those on. I've done some pleats at the back and they're glued on. Now until that's thoroughly dry, I am going to tie those back. I don't want to do that yet because it's putting a lot of pressure on them. Two different ideas with, with um, some lace for a border. And this is the one I've come up with and I'm actually rather pleased with it. <laughs> I do say so myself. So I think I'm going to glue this in place. No, too tight, like that. Carry it too tight, it pulls over. Well, I want that to have a little ridge up, if you know what I mean. Come on. Because I wanted the straight edge at the bottom, and I had the perfect lace for it, but I didn't have enough of it. So what I'm thinking is something kind of like that, which I think will look rather nice. And then around the back. So you can see from the top, it actually looks really pretty. Try and get you in from the side. I mean, am I doing that overgilding the lily bit? Maybe I am, but this time I'm going to overgild it because <laughs> I like it. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I shall stick that in place. And that's as far as I'm going to get this time. I'll probably leave it a, a few videos and then come back to it and we'll finish off we'll get the mattress done and we'll get the bedding done and all the other bits so yeah i actually think that's all right uh, i just popped the mattress on with the, it's only got the uh, tissue on it for the moment but yeah i actually do think that's going to be okay it's not where i sort of envisioned it's not looking particularly french anymore but you know it is what it is i don't know what it is <laughs> So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you to anybody that's liked, subscribed, give me a thumbs up and left a comment because I really, really appreciate it. So anyway, have a good weekend and I'll see you soon and ta-ta for now.